Welcome to the Bourbon Van. I'm Phil. I'm Julie, and welcome! Tonight, we are sipping Elijah Craig, small yeah. batch, yeah. And single barrels. Um, honestly, just made it. Well, it's been a, a little bit of a crazy day. It's been a day. Two Mondays in a row we're live streaming. How I about that? I kind of like the Monday, because usually Mondays just are like... Monday. Honestly, it's the one and only thing that I've looked forward to uh, for the last couple of days. I'm really glad that we decided to do this. Yeah. Thank you for joining me. Hey, thanks for having me. I think it was actually your idea. I think it was as well. <laughs> <laughs> but that's okay. I don't need any credit. I just... Uh... Oh, well, you're you're getting credit. You deserve it. Perfect. All right. Everything sound good. Everything look good out there. Um, and cheers, and everybody. Cheers. Yes. Thanks it looks for... like we've already got people here. Richard White, Aiden, Tyler Deputy, Christopher DeVries. Jeff Perkins from the Bay Area. All right. Knob Creek 12. What do you know? I can't get, I haven't seen that stuff anywhere yet. Love it. Um, well, obviously tonight we are doing a, I got a new mouse over here. I can stop reaching for the camera. Uh, <laughs> You're going to do it lefty too. Yeah. How about that? Um, that's not what I'm looking for. This is the one. Um, so Super Chats tonight um, to get right into it because we've got a lot to do. Um, for every dollar you uh, contribute, you are entered to win tonight's flight. Official rules are in the description of the video. Basically, it's lower 48 states. Yeah. Yeah. And, of course, of legal drinking age, please. Um, but, uh, yeah, that's the idea. Elijah Craig small batch and then three single barrels that we've picked up in our travels over the last year uh, that we'll be comparing them. So It's been a minute since I've had Elijah Craig just in general. Totally. I mean – I don't know. It's been a little bit of a whirlwind, so I'm not even 100% sure what the original one tastes like. So today's totally <laughs> blind for me. <laughs> Honestly, a um, couple people, not as many as I thought, but we did our under 40, bourbon, best bourbons under 40 recently. Um, the video that's uh, our most successful video in a really long time, actually. Very exciting. Thanks um, to all you guys. That, that uh, video did not include Elijah Craig Small Batch. I know. Um, and we only, I think there was only one person who said, what about Elijah Craig small batch? I know. It's, you know, we, well, here it, it is. Just didn't, it didn't come up a ton and it, it's, there's no denying that it is a quality whiskey, Heaven Hill product. And we generally like everything Heaven Hill. Um, don't have to love it, but uh, Elijah Craig barrel proof. If we're buying Elijah Craig, that's the one that goes on the shelf. Yeah. So, um, except for these single barrels, which we've been really enjoying uh, over the uh, over well, obviously not recently, but uh, we picked these all up in the last year, um, and at times enjoyed them, and at times um, we'll forgot them, forgot them on the bottom shelf. Yeah. Um, so I just want to make a quick shout out for Whiskey Straight Al. Cheers from Northern Ireland. Al comments on a hey. lot of our videos. Uh, very nice gentleemen and uh, we are we're minus two years on our trip canceled two years in a row two so years in a row. 2022 we're coming for you yes yeah, Ireland 2022 <laughs> it's been on the it's been on the calendar for three years like Julie said this, this is gonna be the third year um, Eric C's in the house welcome Eric um, Eric by the way nice message from uh, Eric and Ruby today that they they've received their uh, patreon Glen Karen tasting glasses so uh, drinking out of those tonight. Cheers to both of you. Yes, cheers. Whiskey Eyes, Leanne and Trisha are in the house. Welcome. It's always great to see you guys. Some of our, our members. Yeah, members only. Sounds and looks good. Thank you, David. Cheers. Still lots of knob. 12 cask strength here, says Aiden. Aiden, where's where's that at? I, I always forget where people are at because obviously we're hitting the, hitting the road. Uh, so wherever we can go to get that sounds good to me. Mm -hmm. Ernie's a cat. Greetings, Ernie. Love Ernie the cat. <laughs> Look at that face. Look at I that know. punum, as they say. Uh, softest cat in the biz. Seriously, softest cat in the biz. Ruby Hart. Hello, Ruby. Welcome. Always great to see you. Ruby! And what do we got here? This is Whiskey Eyes, Leon, and Trisha in on the flight tonight. Again, enter to win, and uh, we're shipping these out. They're going to go out quick. they got to go out tomorrow. We don't, we're out of time. So we actually already have them bottled up over there, uh, the little sample bottles. They're ready to go. So, <laughs> Cheers, and thank you. Yes, yes. Thank you very much. Stuff and whiskey's in the house. What's Boring up? adulting chores. But there you go. Okay, well, yeah. this, you have to do that sometimes. And, you know, it's a Monday. True. Always uh, got to make up for what happened on the weekend. All the Seriously, chaos. All the things that we were supposed to do. Yeah. 
Um, hey, whiskey nose. Whiskey nose in the house. All right. Let's see here. Um, I don't know about you, but uh, Kira's here from Shelf Turds. Hey! Flight hey. <laughs> fight. Flight fight. We love Kira. We love uh, Shelf Turds. All right. Do you want to get started on this? Well, I just want to say that I told Phil yesterday, actually, that I'm cutting off the four uh, blind tastings because I get two loss of the weeds on these. And I end up either liking them all when I should be more objective or liking none of them. And then that's even worse because you know they're all delicious. Yeah, absolutely. So do it one more time. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm sticking to three. Three seems to be my uh, my good number, but I'm, I'm going to try for it. I just want to make sure that we, well, first off, here comes a cat. Oh, hello, cat. Wait, I never know which way to go. He doesn't either. Oh, sorry. Come on. Come hey, speaking on. of, we should, we should show off our new decal. Oh, yeah. Look at this. This is a gift from our Patreons, uh, Grizz. Um, oh, no. Just the uh, Adventure Cat on board. Going in the van later today. It'll be with us, of course, on the road. Um, just the nicest people in the world supporting this channel. Yeah. Well, I love it. It's so cute. Good. Um, and, uh, you know, Norman kind of cat whispered to us and said, after 15 years on this earth, I'm ready to do some adventuring and not just sleep on the couch. So yeah. we're, we're going for it. Look at this here. Whiskey L, Whiskey Straight L says, happy to introduce you guys, introduce you guys to the whiskey peeps here in my house. It's yours when the time comes. Man, you gotta be careful giving out offers like that because we might just show up. Uh, <laughs> cheers. Thank you so much for that. Oh, that's just the nicest thing in the whole world. Thank you so much. Keith Dex in the house. Welcome. Welcome. Of course, Alaska Bob Eater in the house. Hey, Bob. Oh, always nice to see you. And Wendell Wilson. A lot of Patreons in the house today. It's fantastic. I love Love to see it. Whiskey knows. Keep the fight clean. Cheers. Thank you so much. Yeah, we, you know, it's really, it's more of a, it's a gentle wrestling match. <laughs> You know, sort where of. where everybody, I don't, they, you know, I, we haven't, I haven't seen like kids sports in a long time. It's been a long time since oh. I was a, a part of a, of a young person's team. But now they say that everybody gets a trophy now. Is that, no, is that the case? Well, I guess like a, we get four trophies because we're like boxing matches. Does uh, everybody win? Even though no. somebody has to lose, right? Yeah. No, that's, yeah. I don't, I don't think that's kids really box. It. Do kids box? I don't know. I would hope so. Oh, well, I mean, on the playground, maybe. But we win in the uh, in this in this fight because we get to drink four delicious bourbons tonight. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Well, I are you ready to get started on this thing? I, I actually think we should get moving because we got four whiskeys to taste, obviously. And um, so let's introduce the challengers real quick. Oh sure. Um, first one, original store pick, uh, Elijah Craig, and the aggressive cuddle. Yes, thank you, whiskey ah. fancies. Thank you for putting the words in my mouth that I couldn't spit out. <laughs> Taste and sensibilities here as well. Welcome. Um, th so Elijah Craig, small batch, store pick, um, between 9 and 12 years. It's not age stated, so <clears throat> that's our understanding, between 9 and 12 years. The three challengers are from uh, Bend South Distillery, or Bend South Distillery, Bend South Liquor Store in Bend, Oregon, mm -hmm. Trailhead Liquor in Bend, Oregon, and Giorgio's West Side Liquor Store, Bend, Oregon. So... We don't have to go too far to get these. These are not the ones that are currently in those stores. At least two of those three stores have Elijah Craig store picks right now, Trailhead and Ben South. Mm. We've liked store picks from each of those three um, stores so far, uh, no matter what they are, from 1792 Bottled and Bond to um, Old Forester Barrel Strength. We've, got, we've gotten some fantastic bottles from those three stores. So those are our go-tos. And Three of these are from those three stores, but really we want to know, we're not that crazy about this one. Right. We know we like the other ones. Have we just been wrong? Have we just been drinking this on a bad day? Probably. Probably. <laughs> I'm excited. I uh, I always like pinning them up against each other because I always find it so interesting how the same bottle can basically taste different. Like you expect, you yeah. know, I know it's a store pick and they're supposed to be different, but they're like sometimes like so different. <laughs> Love it. Yeah, I, yeah, that's our favorite part. It's the just the madness of it from day to day. Look who it is, Ed Sturger. Ed, welcome, Ed. Great to see you, Richard Hoyt. Also here. Cheers. Cheers, Richard. Bold Rock Hard Apple Cider. Well, do what you got to do on a Monday, Rich. Nothing wrong with that at all. Nope. I'm already sniffing. Oh, I'm I, I, well, I I into it. Well, I was thinking like because we need to do a little interaction, a little this. So we'll have a little nose, have a little taste, go back and. 
cheers and tell us what you're drinking by the way we didn't say that some of you already have but they're of course always interested in that yeah absolutely yeah let us know what you're drinking and cheers to all of you out there of course Wow, it's been so long. I don't know why I'm like surprised. I was just like, oh, this is this is a this smells great. <laughs> it smells like a chocolate covered peanut. Oh, really? Yeah. Interesting. It smells nice. These, by the way, the store picks, you never really know, but word on the street for each of these is that they're considerably older than the nine to twelve year, or just a little bit older. Yeah. Um, between uh, 12 and 13 years old for these. So again, we don't have verification of that. They're not stated on the bottle, but that's what we were told at one time. Are we going right into, can I, can yeah. I taste it and do everything? And you want to go right into a, it? Uh, yeah. a, a little nose and a taste. We obviously discussed the, the rules beforehand. Chocolate covered peanuts. Oh, you're right. There's a lot of nuttiness on this nose. All right. Uh, do you want to, let's just do a quick it's nose almost of like all a car, like a, I want to say like, um, you know, sometimes like, I feel like we used the Cracker Jack thing on a live stream yeah. like a month ago, but I'm getting a little Cracker Jackiness. Yeah. Cheers. I'm, oh, we're going to sip it. Oh, sorry. No, I was just going to rip down, go? I was oh, just going to rip down the line. Let's do the nose quick. Okay, fine. All right. Nose two, I get a, it's jammy. Jam and jammy jams? Like a raspberry Ooh, Jam. this one is jammy. That's interesting. See, this is why it's like so crazy. Yeah, I think it's important to do these nose one after another. Virginia Bourbon Mafia pick. All right, Steve. Ooh. Sounds lovely. That sounds delicious. Hey, oh, Turk, welcome. We're glad you're here too. <laughs> yes, cheers. Wow, the third one smells different. That actually smells a bit like um, acetone. Like an acetoniness to it. I'm, I'm already yeah. at number three. Three is sugary, brown sugary. That's. Oh, there's some sweetness good. underneath, though. There's like. It's like a hint of cherry or something underneath there. Yeah. Some uh, red fruit. Right, there you go. Ethan's got a Jack Daniel single barrel rye pick. That sounds very nice. Richard White in here with a Buffalo Trace. Nice, perfect. Christopher Vries with the. Old forest ride tonight. That's beautiful. Oh, this is a nice nose. Straight out of Van sipping on uh, Edridor, Edridor, Edridor 12. I just murdered that name. I'm sure of it. Scotch? Is that Scotch? Must be. Or Irish. I don't know. Yeah. Tyler says, I'm not an Elijah Craig small batch fan. I do enjoy the toasted barrel. Mm. Yeah, that's. Try it in a campfire. I'm telling you. Yeah. That's yeah. like my campfire. Um... Bourbon, like it's just like so great. I didn't miss one, did I? G Gigantopithecus. That is Gigantopithecus. A great That's Adam. nice. Yeah. Sorry, guys, my computer's way down here. So. Yeah. Cheers to the Pacific Northwest. I just can't stop smelling this one. Wow. I can't. I'm not really finding a ton on it. Yeah, brown, maybe some chocolate, milk, was... chocolate, brown sugar, but not. Doesn't bring much to the table after those last few. It's sweet though. Yeah. You're getting like a sweeter note. Yeah, none but of these are. But it's not very distinctive. So that's the one yeah, thing. Except for the, the jam, number one and number two were the most potent noses. I'd agree you know, with that. Potent, I would agree with that. Yeah. All number right. four was very subtle. Eric C. is getting in on it. Sipping on the new release of Remus 5. Oh, we're so, we were so weeks excited. And weeks, we, like, we thought that that was going to come in every this week. week. And now we're going to be waiting on that one for a while. We didn't get it. I know. Um, Matter of fact, we didn't get anything this past weekend. We wound up coming home with a bottle that was just sitting on the shelf that we've been curious about for a while. Mm -hmm. uh, it was Jim Beam Prohibition Rye. It's the only thing we brought home this oh, week. Yeah. It was on sale. We love a sale rye. All right. A sale rye. <laughs> I I'm just love for, a sale. Yeah. I got that from my mom. I used to make fun of her so much because she, she still buy. She would only use coupons, like cut every, like every Saturday, probably just spend hours, like cutting out coupons, whatever. Yeah. And then go to the department stores because that's what she did. And then we would only be able to shop off the sale rack. Does your mom still just buy with coupons? Probably. Oh, really? Still, still a bargain hunter. Yeah. Okay. I don't know. Probably not. Cheers. It's been a while. Cheers, Cheers guys. Cheers, everyone. Oh, I'm excited. Ooh. That's a terrific mouthfeel. <laughs> That's a way better mm. mouthfeel than I expected out of that. Mm. Little hug. Yeah. 
there's more brown sugar. I, I, brown I was going to say, it doesn't have a, a crazy finish. Right. To me, it was a little thin on the, on the finish. But good mouthfeel in general. Yes, but a really nice flavor. Definite caramel notes in there. I thought there was going to be a ton of peanut on yeah. this, and I didn't get it. I got to be real um, careful about my sips because we didn't pour a lot in each glass. And since we don't know what they are, it's not like I can get a refill, though right. I can always go over it. Oh, it does have a nice heat. These are all 94, right? Yep. 94 proof? Yeah. This one has like almost a sawdusty finish on it, but I don't dislike it. Mm -hmm. It's interesting. Drying. Hmm. It does have a lot of just thinking. Headphones on. We won't, we'll try not to yell too loud. Oh. We'll be quiet, Tyler. That's my. <laughs> that's Jim Lemke's here. Hey, welcome, Jim. Jim. Oh, look well, at this. He's got a. I need to start doing warm up whiskeys because yeah. at 94 proof, it should be like, wow, this is warm, but because it's. Usually it's an easy thing on a Monday, which is like, yeah, warm up whiskey, no problem. Today, we literally were working straight up to the cutoff. We had to get in here. You know, this is the best part of my day, though. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to go. Uh, it's interesting. You can now, since we're live streaming, you can see how my brain works, which is a disaster at the end of this when I'm trying to figure out which order we're going to put these in. Yeah. Usually I get we get a cut about 35 minutes of that. Yeah. <laughs> Well, glass number one was was quite good. I, I wasn't expecting to enjoy that that much. I didn't get so much. Maybe I'll get it on the way back. But I didn't get so much of that chocolate covered peanuts on this one. Like the nose, the nose even got better. I think maybe because the last one was a little like meh. Yeah. Um, but I did get a lot of caramely notes on yeah, that. The caramel was nice there. Cool. Glass number two, a <gasps> raspberry jam. Nice, Tyler. How did you like it? Yeah, that's a good bottle. Good bottle right there. Oh, look who it is. Cheers. Oh, boy. Oh, gosh, it actually kind of tastes like the nose. It's a little jammy. I like the jammy <laughs> instead of just saying like jam. Wow, that drink's really easy. Mm hmm. Oh, but that one falls off quick, huh? Yeah. The other one, no, glass number one, I said it had a thin finish, but compared to this one, this one like knocked it on the park with the finish. This one was kind of, it was like, oh, it's nice and sweet. And then it was gone. Yeah. I got to take another sip because, yeah. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> Is this how it's going to go since they're all 94? Mm. Just compare. Hmm. That one's got more like a vanilla fruit compote. You have to focus on it because it's gone mm. so quick. There it is. You're right. There's um, vanilla, almost like a, I would say, like an artificial vanilla flavoring in there. Mm -hmm. I can hear the cat snoring on the other I side. I know. Of the I was just thinking, like he's either stuffed up or he's just. Oh no, he's snoring. His eyes are closed. He's doing that weird cat loaf thing where he doesn't have any arms or legs, and then his head is just like that far just off covering. the <laughs> off well, the couch. You fed, him, it's like... you fed him just before this live stream. Yeah. Matter of fact, when we went live, he was still like. Licking his lips I know, as he I love it. Us. Silly cat. He's such a creep. He's a little panicky because he sees us uh, running around like crazy and he thinks we're going to leave him at home, but we're not. No, no, -uh, not this time. Uh, let's see here. All right. So, fruity vanilla fruit compote. That's quite nice. Mm -hmm. That was quite nice. Um, the next one is the one that didn't bring a ton to the table, but it was brown sugary, I thought. On the nose. I know, and I had the acetone with a hint of red fruit. You know what? I was just going to say. The acetone is, well, it's a little bit there. I'm going to go Now light. it almost flipped. Now it's like more red fruity. Anyway. I'm going to say light brown sugar and strawberry now. I'm, I'm a palate yeah. I'm a palate girl. Yeah. The nose always throws me a this bit. This is so interesting that they're so different. They're all, you know, the same line. Mm-hmm. I mean, they really do taste completely different. <laughs> this one I had mm. no trouble keeping on my tongue. Mouthfeel was better. didn't disappear right away. But I would say it's pretty nondescript. Oh, I was like, I thought you were going to be like, this is my favorite. I'm just going to be like, mm, we're on the wrong path again. Yeah. There's a bitterness. This is my not favorite so this far. Is, there's a bitterness on the back end. This is the one that when I bought it, I was told that it was 13 years aged. So that I believe this is the oldest How do you know? of them. Well, when you select your barrel, I believe most of the time that they tell you, um, oh. exactly what, where that barrel came from, how long it was aged for, and that sort of information. At least some of them do. I don't know if all of them do, but that was the word on 
from the person who sold it to me that it was 13 years of age. You're just guesstimating though. Yeah. Oh, that's true. <laughs> you don't know that that's, that's the one. That's true. I just realized I have no <laughs> I idea. I was like, what I'm maybe you do know which one that is. It's because it's in my head because when I poured them, I went one, two, three, four, but these have all been mixed up. Uh, so I wasn't even thinking about the fact that these have been mixed. We're going to rewind this and the tape later on and the tape, like it's 1985, and, uh, <laughs> and uh, see if you were right. Maybe we didn't. It is. Um, I got brown sugar on that. That's a. Uh, I got. That one's spicy. Yeah. Interesting. So I think it's interesting about this. The proof come, came through on number one and number proof, ninety four, but came through on number one and number three, but not on number two. Yeah. Um. This is uh, subtle flavors, is what I'm going to say. I would agree. On this one. I would agree. This one doesn't stand out very much. Let's see, uh, let's see what everyone's talking about in the chat. Otherwise, we're going to get way sidetracked here. Yeah. Tyler has <laughs> not opened his uh, batch 16 yet, he was saying. Um, also in a controlled state like we are. I'm doing this uh, mouse thing half with my left hand, and I keep losing the mouse pointer. Uh, oh, yeah, I know. Jake Miller says that he's in a purchasing freeze. Have a lot of near-empty bottles to kill. Yeah, that this, happens from time to time. This is, what, this is the problem that we're in, too. I mean, we've talked about this before, I think, more, more on our Patreon live streams, but we've been contemplating getting the second shelf. But then the second shelf means that you just keep buying more bourbons and whiskeys, and yeah. we're just trying to keep it on one shelf. So we're also bottle-killing things that we're like we're crazy about or whatever just so that we can make room for more. Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know. We've got a lot of bottles right now because we've been buying things for – this tasting that we're going to be hosting at Wayfarer Weekend. Oh, yeah. So if you are a Wayfarer Vans uh, owner, follower, if you're going to Wayfarer Weekend, we will see you there. Um, and if you are if you are going and you haven't signed up for the tasting yet, do it. We got the glasses today, and they're cool. They are cool. I'm yeah. excited. Did we? Are we on, oh, I'm going to scoot on to number four. Sorry. We can keep uh, keep checking in. Rich says your tasting notes have started to get oh. complicated. I this is why this is why I'm terrible at the uh, the four lineup, the lineup of four, because I mess them all up in my brain as well. It's just <laughs> three seems to be my sweet spot. Like I, I feel like I could do three and stay on track. The the fourth one, then I just I'll, well, I mean, I'll I already throw. forgot that we were drinking these blind. <laughs> That's so, true. <laughs> That's totally today, true. <laughs> it's going to be a really really long week. Yeah. You want to no, check out awesome. glass four? Awesome. Yeah. Wow. This is still this was the one that I said subtle sweetness. Yeah. It's kind of I think we've been drinking too much barrel right? proofers lately because everything seems subtle right now. Eh, too much. <laughs> That's relative. Ooh, wow. The nose was uh nondescript, but the palate is I think the most flavorful of the bunch. You think so? Yes. Okay. No, he doesn't agree. <laughs> this one is. I mean, I found this like, one to have the like, least character. I think it's really? the least interesting. Because this one had like the most punch. See, this is how it works. The nose different. all of a sudden seems yeah. better on this one. It seems improved compared from where it was, but the the palate is not doing it. Matter of fact, I'm not even sure what I'm getting here. Maybe I'll take it. I'm getting a little water. pepperminty on this one. Some mint there. Mm-hmm. It had like a a little bit of a, a punch, like a flavor punch. Which is some of these other ones didn't have that like crazy flavor punch. Yeah. Interesting. It's been so long since I've had a uh, large Craig. Yeah, this one, some of that cheap milk chocolate peanut, like the mm. co chocolate covered peanuts. Mm -hmm. That's about all I'm getting on this. Well, there is a hint of vanilla there at the end. Yeah, cheap mm. milk chocolate covered peanuts. I'm almost getting like a, it's probably not a tasty note of what this is supposed to be, but like a peppermint bark. So maybe like a white chocolate peppermint bark type deal. Yeah, you're right. And the, the, what's lingering, the, the, and that actually, the, the minty finishes tends to last a little longer, I feel like, mm -hmm. usually. Um, I'd say there's a peppermint finish there. I didn't get it on the palate, but it's it's hanging around. That's interesting. What? I would say... Still. That was the one that actually gave me like the most reaction, I think. Got something out of that, huh? Yeah. All right. You know how I like a little, <laughs> like it to say something to me. Oh, yeah. okay. It speaks to me. I mean, that doesn't mean it's going to come in first because by the time we're done with all this, like who knows where we'll be. 
We've got Tim Roberts in here tonight. Welcome, Tim. Get a highly regarded bottle only to uh, not find out it's not to your liking and you're stuck trying to finish it. Yeah. Yeah, we've been there a couple times. That is really disappointing. What is it, Wilson? It's not so bad if it's like a $25 bottle, but it's generally like one of those higher end bottles that yeah. you're just super pumped about and that didn't work out. When it was in uh, oh, Sitting right. on some Will, it had a fun run down south last weekend. We were following that, by the way. We were keeping tabs on, uh, on you on Instagram. We enjoyed watching that very much. Yeah. Oh, man, look who it is. Hey! Remember him? Definitely. <laughs> I was actually just uh, reading about your brother's uh, Instagram post over the weekend. I don't know if you follow him, but... I don't really look at uh, anything was, anymore. I know. There's <laughs> I fear should. and like do all kinds of crazy stuff. Oh my gosh, it's been ten years, maybe. Yeah, long time. Welcome. Good to good, good to, see to have you. Man. All right. Well, what do you think? You want to go back the other way? Absolutely. What's all my right. favorite? That's my favorite. Starting on number four or number three? I'm going number four again. Yeah. Actually, four? I probably don't need to because I remember that pretty distinctly. It's still lingering for me. Yeah. Yeah. Lingerer. Leon says that uh, Julie's making him hungry with her descriptions. Now we need to find some sweets. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Mm. The nose on three has become the most promising. I really do think that that bitterness indicates age. Maybe I'm still in my own head about that one. Oh, yeah, this is the one you thought that you knew what it was. Yeah. Oh, funny. Hmm. I'm just reading over my tasting notes to see if anything is different. Not so far. <laughs> this one, I mean, there's a bit of sweetness that I'm getting. Excuse me. I want to find that strawberry that I'm getting on the nose. I want to find that on the palate. Hmm. This one's interesting to me because I think that there's a lot happening on this one, but... It's all, and I, I guess subtle, subtle is the, uh, the name of the day, or the name of the name of the day. What is that? <laughs> the word of the day, um, for me at least, because on number on glass number three, it really is just subtle flavors. Like yeah. there's stuff there. You can taste the caramels, and you can taste the vanilla, and you can taste, you know, there may be like I put red fruit. I'm getting just like like hints of it, but everything is just kind of, you know. It's yeah. there, but it's not. Again, maybe we were drinking too many barrel proofs. What's the last thing? Because it's good. Finish? I mean, it's there's, tasty. There's oak spice on the finish for me. Yeah. Uh, Ed says, just returned from Big Sky Country. Hope the smoke's dissipated when you arrive. So do we. It actually blew out of here the last couple of days, and it's been great since then. Yeah. Um, are you doing a live stream from there? I don't know yet. We have to figure out where we can do live streams from on yeah. the road. Um, I suspect we have enough trouble just getting to go in. Where we live, <laughs> not getting it going, but like getting all the equipment running. Well, we will have a Patreon live stream at some point from yeah. the road in the next week or so. We just have to figure out where is the best location to do that. So yeah. definitely stay tuned for that. Ed. We are pretty pumped because we just got some final details on what the weekend entails. And the place looks amazing that we're all going to. Yeah, so. it's going to be amazing. Mm -hmm. um, haven't been to Bozeman in, in a few years. Can't, can't wait to get over there. Yeah. Rags is here. You would like a quick recap when we have a moment. Yeah, why not? Why not? Uh, so what we're doing tonight is we've got four bottles of Elijah Craig. One is this typical small batch. Three of them are single barrels from local shops around the area that we've picked up over the last year. And we are comparing them and we're going to rank them from one to four. We really just want to find out if the original stands up at all to these single barrels or if it Trounces the single barrels. We don't know what's going to mm -hmm. happen. And uh, for every dollar you contribute via Super Chat, you can be entered to win the flight that we're enjoying right now. And your Super Chats will go toward uh, gas money. Heck yeah. <laughs> it's hitting the road. <laughs> um, I just I snuck ahead for number two. <laughs> and I like number two. Is that right? Yeah. This was the, I'm going to say pajama jammy jam, but it's, it's the, uh, the jammy one. It's super jammy and lots of vanilla. And this one's the most flavorful. I like, well, I mean, I haven't done one yet. And one was, we got a lot of the peanutty chocolate notes on that, but I like number two. Now I like number two. I think, yeah. My it, mind gets It dissipates changed. quickly, but what's there is great. And there's, that's a caramel finish. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that's special. You don't get that all the time. Yeah. Yeah, when you when the lasting thing is is something sweet like that, mm -hmm, that's great. 
Totally. My hope is that you do not really like any of these. Richard, oh God, how dare you? Well, <laughs> <laughs> I know I do sometimes feel like, well, no, I feel like I, I, I'm pretty transparent with what I like and like I don't like. There's yeah. a lot of stuff that I'll just say is weird, but I can see why other people like it, but yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Um, let's see, we're up to glass number one. I know. Oh, Dennis Weedman. Here hey, he is. Dennis. Hey, that's okay, Dennis, you're here, you're here, There's man. no timetable. You can come and go, <laughs> yeah. leave, come back, this is whatever. Open, this is an open table, you know what I mean? This is, we actually talked about- It's renaming. like poker, it's like a blackjack in Vegas. Like you just kind of sit down wherever you find a, find a spot, then you leave, then you come back and- We were yeah. gonna rename our live streams to the dive bar. Uh, <laughs> oh, I forgot about Since we about usually that. just sit and talk a bunch of trash and nonsense, and, oh, and we, we don't have trash, we don't have, like, well, we don't usually have a direction. We're just we're just like drinking with friends and just talking too much. Totally, I was like, usually I'm like, so what's what are we what are we covering tonight? Are we covering anything? He's like, I don't know. Let's uh, just go with go with it, which is more my style anyway. Because yeah, I, we're good at that. I could just ramble on for <laughs> hours. Um. Well, thank you very much, Dennis, and welcome. Uh, yet again, another Patreon. Busy with Patreons tonight. I love nice. our Patreons. Yeah, we love, love seeing the best. All I mean, guys. I love everybody, but love seeing, yeah, yeah, it's just so great. It's We've so been seeing great. a lot of the same people here week after week, and that's just—it's encouraging, you know. Because a lot of times you're like, "Oh, what are we even doing up here?" But yeah, obviously, we're building relationships, and we like what that. Are, so, thank you to everybody for being here. What are any of us doing? Just, oh, man, we're just it's hanging so out, having a good time, right? Hey, Rodney, thank you. Thank you so much, Rodney. Gas money and getting Norman in van. Absolutely. He's, I, it's going to be, uh, keep an eye on Instagram. A lot of Norman Oh my savings. gosh, I'm really excited. <laughs> I mean, one, I'm excited about that. But I will yeah. say that we have been strategically jenga in Is Jenga the thing? Or Tetrasine? Maybe we're Tetrasine, like all the things. That. So this is the first trip that we're taking with the cat. I mean, we've taken it on little shorties. This is the first big one. And I, I'm weighing the amount of... Norman stuff and the amount of the rest of us stuff. I yeah. mean, we're like, ah, oh, crap, we got to take his carrier because just in case, and he's got like eight litter boxes and 18 months of food, I don't know. And yeah, yeah. which he could eat in one day if he really wanted to. Totally. Um, yeah, it's going to be, it's going to be a big trip. It's going to be a lot of fun. And honestly, um, you know, it's an adventure. What's life without a little adventure? And all of our trips over the last two to three weeks, three weeks have been canceled for one reason or another. So um that's the good news that uh, we're kind of raring to go at this point um so thank you very much rodney yes very nice thank you regs five thank you regs that's great thank you just, just let it flow he says <laughs> totally. right yeah just keep talking right sooner or later a nugget of interest or truth will come out um uh, well thank you very much and again this uh um Elijah Craig tasting for those of you just showing up and uh, we're back. We've gone one way. We're coming back the other way. Have you mm -hmm. had another sip of glass one yet? I have not. I think it's the best mouthfeel of the bunch. Do you think? I do. Wouldn't it be something if that's the original and we've been given a, a little bit of guff over that the last be, year? That would honestly be incredible. Mm. There's a sweet spiciness there, like a little, like a sweet cinnamon. Oh, oh my gosh, I was just gonna say, like, this is totally almost like um, you know, at like tourist shops, they always have no, not at tourist shops. I'm thinking at like in Chicago, we still live in Chicago, they had something called the Chris Kindle Mart at Christmas, and they have like the cinnamon coated peanuts. Like they usually yeah. there's my favorite are the amaretto. Oh, so if you yeah. ever go to Chicago during the holidays, amaretto nuts. Anyway, Ernie the cat knows what I'm talking about. Yeah. <laughs> but that's what it tasted like. It's like a peanut with like the cinnamon stuff. Yes. Oh man. Will we be there? We won't still be we in Chicago not. during the Chris Kindle Mart. Dog on it. I know. All right. One day we we're used gonna to get be, back there. One we're, day we're gonna get back there. We were pretty there. good about it, and then everything's gone to whatever in the last two years. <laughs> I'm Taste and sensibility. Love watching your blind tasting. Thank you so much. That means the world to us. We actually just did one this weekend, and um, oh, it was a disaster. I mean, it's a video, so you'll see. But if you saw. <laughs> Like it was a disaster at the end. If you saw a couple weeks ago, we did that tasting <laughs> next to next to the, the the creek, next to the to the babbling brook. Um, that uh, those two two bottles that we got from from our friend Brent, um, that blind tasting where it turned out to be Van Winkle Family Reserve Thirteen yeah. and Wild Turkey Cornerstone. The tasting we did this weekend, 
was four more from Brent. And uh, we're I'm busy uh, editing it, and that'll come out probably next Monday, I think. I know, it's a I, fun one. You don't want to miss that. I'm a little on the uh, – I'm, yeah, I'm not going to tell you anything, but, like, I'm a little on the fence. I was like – I was like, oh, cool, this is the one I picked. And then in the morning I was like, oh, man. Basically, like, what are people going to think of me moment for her? Um, she works too much about it. Tried watching this while on my exercise bike, but after two pedal rotations, I gave up. What do you, what are you drinking now? You should just now, grab Levi? a bourbon. I was going to say grab a bourbon and just right. do the uh, bicep curls, right? Right, energy drink. Yeah. Um, courtesy of the, the bourbon van. We're happy to help. We're happy that we could do make a difference in your life tonight. We're all the exercise you need. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, you'll exercise your abdomen with all the laughter. Oh, exactly. And your face with all the smiles. Isn't that better anyway? Hey, bud, you here to hang out again? You were just snoring. You know that? Oh, I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm in the. I'm not in a great position here. Hold on. Come on. Everyone wants to say hi. It's cat time. It's cat time. <laughs> I'm waiting for one day, like every so often, very rarely with me, um, but you know, if he's kind of moody, he'll throw out a little cat hiss. And so I'm waiting for the day that we're live streaming and I'm like, say hi to the people. And it's like, yeah. F you mom. Yeah. <laughs> I just ate. <laughs> right, bud? Look at you. I know. This is why the people come to see this like handsome. 90% of people are here for. Yeah. For normal. Handsome face. Tim says you guys have a great channel, great energy, locations, down to earth reviews and blinds. Keep it going. Thank you, Tim. Thanks, That's, Tim. We, we appreciate that. We don't claim to be anything other than what we are. We're not yeah. experts. We just we are we're literally far here. from experts. We're literally here to enjoy and have a good time. We hope that you are as well. Yeah. All right. I'm almost out on glass number one. That means it's time to do some A/B testing. I've, I'm a bit concerned uh, yeah. about the depth of my glasses. You always are. I'm I mean, I'm, I'm glad that I've been taking scratch notes. I mean, let's see. Yeah, crazy notes, which mean nothing. Um, I have a, already, usually I'm not this far along, but yeah. I have a one-two in my head already. So that's I, feeling I, better with my crazy. I have one and two changes. down, three and four. I'm, I'm not I'm not there yet. Yeah. Wendell Wilson, chance to win some samples and a sister road trip, double bonus. Thank you, Wendell. You know, last two people that we put up there, uh, Mustangs. We oh. Start a bourbon van Mustang group. We don't I have like one, it. just encouraging it. Again, apologies that my head is on here. I'm trying to triple do things triple time. I know last the last live stream we had last week, we were told that we need to we need some help. <laughs> so I'm not always just like off screen. Yeah. Yeah. Well, also our equipment is a problem. Ruby, I'd love to purchase a t-shirt like the one Phil's wearing. Any chance of adding the smaller graphic back? Yes, Julie's been <gasps> after me about that for a while. Yes. Um, yes. So the original t-shirt. Everything was so small. All the designs were so small that I just Finally, they released a new template form, so I made them all bigger. This one was definitely better as a smaller one, I think. Although I, I like the big one too, but well, yeah, we'll put a smaller one in there. Yeah, and I'll say that I think it was our very first shirt we ever did. I too, I have the shirt myself, and the ones that came out after that, the fit's a little bit better, the logo's a little bit better, like everything about it. I mean, and for a woman, from a woman's side, I think for the men's, it's yeah. fine, but. Um, yeah, it's like the one shirt that I don't wear all that often because it's just not fashionable. It's not, oh yeah, my t my t shirt's not fashionable enough, <laughs> and it doesn't have this guy on it. Look there at that go. face! Look at that little nose! <laughs> oh, I love him. Our, exactly. Our is that... <laughs> totally. I oh, know. there it is. See, I've got I've got it up on my phone as well. The chat. Oh, so yeah. that I can see the super super chats and, and emojis and things coming through. Oh yeah, I so miss all that. Look how adorable. Isn't that the best? See, oh, oh Streamyard's gonna get that figured out. I want my I want my emojis and super stickers. I was gonna say I I am a little bummed because I can't do I can't triple <laughs> triple things, but uh, that little Norman guy is adorable. Yeah. Yes. No. Totally. I mean, we've had multiple people reach out to us. I love that he's just like, "Mom, you suck." <laughs> you suck Mom. Um, we've had multiple people say, "More Norman," because I mean, we're no heroes. Yeah. We, we know what we know. We know who, heroes. Yeah, we know who who yeah. you come for. This little guy. Norman Biggin and Cookie are the stars of Whiskey Tube. Absolutely, I forget everybody's names though. Cookie is a bourbon junkie's cat, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, Biggin. I don't know which one that is. I haven't. Is that Matt's? I don't know. Which one is big and again? Shoot. Well, let us know in the chat. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna need to 
man, we could do a cats of whiskey tube calendar. <sighs> Oh God! <laughs> no, we would need to. No, seriously though, we would need to have our neighbor. So I think we told you this last live stream that we're like heartbroken because our neighbor's cat moved to the Bay Area, which is great for her. But yeah. we were just like totally in love with her, and she would. It was just hilarious. Like she would sit underneath our like we have a couch outside, and you would just see paws, and she would be on her back, all four paws out sunbathing i've never seen anything like it like i've never yeah. seen a cat so chill yeah that would be a cat's of, that would be a cat a whiskey cats of calendar whatever this is called yeah uh, and he's out by the way Greg says do either of you have a favorite shirt in the shop i do do you um my favorite is uh i was told there'd be whiskey yeah there's a little norman guy on it i like it i have it in red and i still think that i stand by the fact that it that's the best color. It's get. super adorable. At least for me. I really like that one. I really like the um, uh, drink your whiskey shirt. Oh, yeah. That, that one's, one's great. cool. But my favorite is the one that just showed up this week. It is a Patreon exclusive. If you're a Patreon, yeah. you have access to it. It is a uh, uh, down with OGD shirt. I'm down with OGD. Because we do love OGD. And it's the old vintage logo from the 50s and 60s. Yeah. It's my it's it's hilarious. It's my absolute favorite yeah. shirt. Well, yeah, because it's got the old guy. The old guy. Uh, it looks like, you know. It's the eighteen hundreds where you would get like the what do you call those? A brooch or whatever that had like the yeah, it's got like the, the circles circle. around it. <laughs> it's amazing. Um yeah, the keychar one is really funny too. Um but Welcome it's, Jeremy. It's not a it's not a very The Keytar one was a great moment in time. Yeah. When but, you were singing your catch song all the time. You're yeah. Yeah. But I will say I've of course I wear the t-shirt all the time, but the um not the drinker whiskey, the I was told there'd be a whiskey shirt. I've worn that on multiple occasions out and about, and I've had multiple people tell me they like my t-shirt. So yeah. yeah. I think that's a good one. That's the only one I've seen somebody wearing in public before. Well, you have? That was at the liquor store, yeah. Oh man. We're getting, we're getting famous. I didn't I Well, didn't, we're not, but the cat is. <laughs> I wasn't recognized. For what it's worth, that uh, that that day, I was not recognized. Man, we need to just bring Norman Norman along. He'd hate it. Like he'd he's not it. a you know, some, you see those cats in backpacks and stuff. I wish, you know, like I could tool around on the trails with them on a, on yeah. a leash and a backpack. No, no <laughs> dice. Like not going for that. But that would be awesome because people would probably recognize them. Oh, big and his Trev's cat. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. There we go. Hey, Jim. Jim, Jim says he's in the minority because he's not here for Norman. And Levi says that Jim's a liar. Easy, guys. Easy in the <laughs> chat. Easy in the chat. <laughs> Hey, it keeps us, uh, yeah. yeah. Jake, there you go. Get, teach him to sit still somehow. I don't know how you do it. True. And no, you love that you shirt. Have they... you seen it? Did you see it on Patreon? It's, it's my favorite. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm absolutely, I'm, we are we already have him on order. Well, I can't Phil, wait. he didn't, you know, I, you know, I say this every time. I just gotta like show up and he tells me what's going on. And he showed me that <laughs> shirt the other day and I, literally laughed out of the room. I was laughing so hard. Yeah. Like I just like rolled out of the room. That was pretty funny. Hmm. I've been A-B testing. Oh. Have you been A-B testing? Absolutely not. I'm just All having right. a good time with the people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the shirt is I'm down with OGD. Uh, it's very, uh, it's very hip. <laughs> oh yeah. Just by you saying that means it's very hip. <laughs> All right, I I have an order here. Oh crap! I haven't been doing anything. Mm, I'm gonna yeah. I'm gonna write write down where I'm at. Um, I will say these are pretty close. I would say that number one wait is the standout. Don't tell the don't first. Tell. I'm just saying first place for me is the standout. No, glass number one, or you're just I'm saying, saying you my, have my a first standout. place. Oh, okay. is the is the standout for me? Yeah, I don't want to get swayed because I could I could easily be like you're right. That's uh, yeah, mind over matter. Yeah. Ruby, has Jackson been watching tonight? Has Jackson been paying attention? Has just staring at the TV or at the computer? I will say. Who's this guy? Is that a mirror? I hope so. <laughs> I hope so. I will say that we did that like real nerdy thing. I don't know, probably like a year ago. There's cat TV. Did you know there's cat TV on YouTube? Which I'm sure that if you have cats, then you do. Um, and I put it on. It's just birds like flying onto a picnic table for like hours and I put it on and he 
obsessed. I was obsessed with it. It's you're kind we of, actually jumped for it at one point. I know. I kind of felt bad because he really wants to get those birds, but like he would like do that like stealth crawl, right? And then you jump up, and then like he's like he's peeking at the TV, and you're like, oh, honey, it's, a, it's just a TV. And then he would just like swat, you know, a yeah. swat at the TV, and I was like, don't break it, cats. Jake says. Best way possible, OGD is like the PBR of lower shelf whiskey. You know, I think I think that's Love a PBR. right because there's some days that mm. a PBR hits just right, and OGD bonded for me. Mo- well, always hits just right, but yeah, that's one of those bottles. Every one one four gets all the love, but I think OGD bonded is such a hitter bottle right under the radar. So I decided that the way that I need to do blinds is by live streaming because. I can't think about it too much. Like I just did a lineup and I put a one, two, three, four already. Yeah. And it doesn't seem like the most, uh, the best way to do this because I don't think I'm being, you know, super critical, but yeah. All right. Let's see. Um, Mm -mm. So are you ready? You're ready to rank these now? Almost. You know me. I just want to do one more run through and. Oh, okay. All right. Well, I'm going to keep drinking them because they're almost done. I'm having such a great time. I'm yeah. Yeah. Ooh, see now number four. I know you didn't like number four, but now I kind of like number four. I didn't dislike it. I do have a well. Anyway. Strong opinions coming out here in the in the chat. <laughs> oh no, Ed! I love a PBR. <laughs> yeah. Remember, like it used to be like just like a dollar. I know. Now I have to pay like. I don't know. It's probably, it's probably like three fifty. Well, which, depends what you're buying and where you're getting it from. I was gonna say I was watching a movie and the people went to the it was you know early two thousand movie or whatever. Yeah. And the people went to the bar and he's like, "I'll take a beer," and they're like four dollars. And I was like, "Oh, remember when beers were four dollars? I just paid seven bucks the other day. Terrible." <laughs> well, we do we do love cheap beer. We have a lot of lager around, but we also have a refrigerator full of craft beer, and we do homebrew our own. So we have um, twenty two breweries here in central oregon so maybe, maybe more i yeah. don't know but uh yeah there's a lot of good beer around we just sometimes you want that lager especially after a run we're you know we're runners and julie's doing her marathon training you don't always want a 300 400 calorie beer uh when you're done running i gotta be, i gotta say that i'm anxious to to get this situated because then i want to have something else i want to have something else too oh, good. let's get this like let's get okay. this done and i'm going to blend these into one glass Mm-mm. finish it and then move on i'm not going to have any left so <laughs> well mine are already selected so i'm going to do the mix here um what do you got for for number four what's your fourth place Wait, I... <laughs> you tell me i'm, I'm not ready, ready yet I'm i do ready. have a number four and my number four is glass number three that's my number four. Oh, perfect. Yay! We're never, we're like never, never, never in sync. So what did, what do you not like about it? What it, why did it finish fourth for you? Um, I just didn't think it had enough. I don't know if I want to say like flavors. Like there was stuff in there, but like I couldn't pick it apart enough. It was just too muddled. Like the flavors were too muddled. So it had that acetone red fruit nose that did kind of go away, but then I was getting like a little brown sugar, like hints. <laughs> yeah, like hints of brown sugar. But overall, I just said it's subtle. It just did, like the other three just had more to offer. So and for me, day. glass number three, the reason it finished fourth for me is you can tell that it's, that it's I don't know, it's bitter on the back end. Mm-hmm. Um, so the finish was unsatisfying for me. Uh, just had a bitter, more bitter back end. Some days I think I would prefer that. Today's not the day because the rest of these are so sweet Mm -hmm. that uh, it sort of got shut down. Um, Glass number three. Okay, I'm good. uh, I was still waffling. Thank you very much. Hey, Uh, thanks. Glass three, do you know? I did. So glass number three for me was glass, sorry. So in third place for me is glass number Oh. Don't look. What are you? You giving it away? Oh, yeah, we should. Oh. We need to figure out who it is. Oh, sorry. I don't know what it is. Wait, what did we just say? Glass number four was glass number three. Okay. Glass number three is Giorgio's West Side. West Side. Which I think that's the oldest one. Is that the one? So that's the 13 year. You were pretty like adamant about the age. Well, I did, yeah. Did you? Was that the one that that's you talked about? That's oh, the one. Interesting. So that's. And you did say that. That's you a bit thought... of a surprise because I actually really liked that one when we first got that bottle. I was really yeah. pleased with it. 
I know. Okay, so it's on track for a craft brewery and every time. Yeah, I believe it from what from what we heard about it. Yeah. Oh man, that East Coast trip. We're going not next this year, but maybe next year. I would like it to be. I next think we year. need to do more. Yeah, twenty twenty two East Coast. Jim says we don't even allow PBR into the wiener wash category. <laughs> I'm hoping that's a hot dog thing. <laughs> oh yeah, beer breaths. Yeah. Well, I'm hoping it's beer breaths. Oh, the cat. Wait. Wow. Hey, look at. Got a haul of JD barrel proof rye. Well done. Nice. I'm just creeping. Yeah, but he's standing like he's like right behind me, and I know. Oh shoot. Oh, sorry guys. Now, well. <laughs> hopefully, if you go. Was that dime? I can't oh. picture him like swinging his arm while he says it. <laughs> there was a couple bars we used to go to. Court, like, remember after like softball? Anyway, we don't need to do yeah. Okay, so number three for us, three or for, maybe for for number. What's your What's your third place? In third place, glass number four. Same. Oh my gosh! Come on! Holy, it's crazy! This is like a once in a lifetime opportunity here. Uh, tell me about this one. What do you think of it? Um, uh, I said so sweetness. Peppermint, chocolate peanuts. At the end, I actually enjoyed it quite a bit. Mm -hmm. So if you saw me going back and forth, like while we were discussing Got glass tougher. number four, I was like, ooh, maybe that could sneak into the number two. But I ended up with my number two, I liked it throughout. Yeah. So that's why it won. So this one, like it didn't, I was like a little wishy-washy at the beginning and then kind of ended up liking it more. So that's why I got my number three. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. You, got, you I, gotta, you gotta present said, from the start. This one, I got a lot of flavors on it. Milk chocolate, brown sugar, cheap milk chocolate covered peanuts, the peppermint finish. But it was all so subtle and restrained. Yeah. I also wrote boring. Oh. So. That's kind of sad. All right, let's find out what this one Can is. Can I also for. just mention that you could tell our personality differences by how I explained why I liked glass number four and how you were just like, boom, 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 done. <laughs> Class number four. That's the. Is that what I think like it is? It's a triangle, but I don't know. That's that's the original. Oh, match. that's so an this O. Is, that's oh. this guy right here. That's the it looks shelf like a stock. D. <laughs> oh, so the oh Elijah Craig, come on. Yeah, so the original got number three. Yes. All right. So I'm just going to write that down. Uh, original. G for Georgia. Oh, you're doing it. All right. Number, okay. What did you get in second? Hey, and I have to say, a lot of times we talk about store picks, and I always say, I love store oh. picks because you take the original and it just has something a little bit extra. Sure. And this is the prime example of that. Like, the original fell to third. I think that happened with um, Eagle Rare as well. Yeah, for me, the Eagle Rare, well, I, I don't remember that one very, very but, much. But I just... I mean, if it's in third place, the original. Yeah. Hmm, interesting. What do you got in second place? All right, second place for me. Actually, why don't you just tell me your winner? Oh, sure. My winner is number two, the Jammy Jams. This one, I this was the toughest one for me because I really liked number two in terms of the nose. I thought I had the best nose. I enjoyed the palette, but it, it was gone too quickly. Mm. Whereas glass number one, was a little less on the nose, but the palate, the mouthfeel, that contributed to a better finish. It was more interesting for me. So we just switched number one and number two around. I'm okay with that. All right, let's find out number... Wait, so my winner... Your winner. Okay, let's do your winner. Yeah, number two. Is Ben South. Ben South. Yep. And for me, that means Trailhead takes first, Trailhead takes second for you. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'd say that that's oh about gosh, right. Oh no, well, no, you, I, I you blended match them all up. together. Yeah, I'm really special that way. I've got zero left. I am a hundred percent all the time. Sixty-five <laughs> percent of the time works every works time. Works every time. That's so funny. Mm. Hey, well, now, I'm, I'm actually like really. I'm fun. excited. Yeah, because we we do talk about how the original is just. Fine. Yeah, absolutely. Um, well, I think that we'll pick the winner at exactly six o'clock. How does that sound? Oh, sure. It's, but I'm going to stick around. Are you, do you guys want to stick around a little bit more? Yeah. Because I kind of want to stick around. Yeah. We don't have to pick it. We can pick whenever. Um, I'm going to stick around after this and have a, another drink. But I wanted to say we're going to pick it at six o'clock. I know you guys have other streams to get to and that sort of thing. So sure. I figured we'll pick it at six o'clock. Okay. And if you want to stick around and have a drink with us, you can. So if you are still 
interested in entering tonight's uh, raffle, uh, every dollar you contribute via Super Chat enters you to win two ounces of each of these whiskeys that we had tonight. I will also say that they tasted remarkably different. I mean, yeah. maybe not remarkable. That might be overstating it, but they tasted so different from one, one another. Bye, Kira. Bye, Kira. Thank you. Um, yeah, they just tasted like so different from one another. It was like, it's kind of crazy actually. Like the flavors shifted each glass that we had. So Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Get up the yeah. The, the, you know what? The funny thing is now that I've blended these raspberry jam on the palate and on the finish Yeah. with a little mint. It's actually, I think, better. <laughs> oh, so if you get the samples, save just a little bit of save each, and then just see if it's the the sum is. Wait, what is that algebra equation? The sum is better than the parts. Sure. Is that algebra, or is that just something else? Uh, I think it's a saying that they used to say in pirate times. Oh, <laughs> so not algebra. <laughs> I don't have any idea. I don't know if that has anything to do with pirate times. Oh, I love it. That's hilarious. All right, so what now? Guys, give us some inspiration. What do you, what, um, I know there's a, a nut yeah, what creek we up open? there. I don't want to get too crazy. We haven't eaten dinner yet, so. Ed picked up a little book, chapter five. I bet it's chapter five today. It's got the percent sign in there. I think it's a five. <laughs> I like it. Um, we just had an opportunity to get some little book from last year, um, and we passed because we've just got too much right now. Um, we need to clear some things out. Um, I know, and also we, I don't know anything about the one that we were looking at. Is I that different than the one that we just tried down in Ashland? Yeah, we tried a little book for the first time, actually, because yeah. mm -hmm. we just it, we just don't really get it out here. So, Eric gets it. <laughs> yeah, it gets it gets exciting in overtime, right? We just all right. I. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mike says, stay heaven hill and go Henry McKenna 10. You're not going to talk Julie into that one. It's definitely not her favorite. And we also want to say real quick, the heaven hill, uh, their employees are um, are striking for better pay at the moment. Or mm -hmm. I'm not sure exactly what the situation is, but uh, a good luck to everybody with that situation. And we hope you get it worked out exactly the way that you want it to be worked out. Um, I need to look a little deeper into it, but uh, um with Bourbon Week coming up out there in the very near future. Um, good luck to everybody figuring that thing out. We hope that you come to an amicable resolution. Amicable? Not amicable. Yeah. Amiable. Wow. Amenable. <laughs> Amen wait, amenable? You'd be amenable to another yeah. whiskey. Yeah. I'd be amenable to, a, amenable, amenable to another whiskey. What do you think? Right, Ted, I want to win. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, right. I'm not sure what the situation is there, but uh, yeah, for a, a, a distillery to be on strike is that's tough. Um, okay, two minutes, two minutes, and and holding until we uh, choose our winner here. What do you think? You know, I re I don't remember who said it, and I apologize. Maybe Ed. Somebody was drinking a Willet earlier, and I haven't drank Willet in like. I think that was Tim Noble. Oh, really? Somebody was drinking a Willet. And I haven't drank it in like at least three to four months. And so I think I'm going to go Willet. Switch into a rye. Switch into a rye. Definitely Which we're almost in rye season. Yeah. I mean, is there is there a season for rye? It just seems like, you know, October, spicier, fall. Wendell warm. says it was me. Okay. We got you, Wendell. All right. Jim says Knob Creek store pick. If you got it, we don't. We don't. Um, we had a rye uh, that wasn't our favorite. That we had uh, we finished a couple months <laughs> oh, ago. And we afraid. haven't gotten another one. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't oh, know. that was a nice thump. Nice little thump. Sure. Yeah. I like when they still sound good. Did you rinse that with water or anything? Yeah, I did. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I rinsed it and then did a shot, a shot of water, which is, I probably shouldn't do more than that. But that's all right. Well, that was pretty good. That I got to say, um, those. Elijah Craig store picks. Wow, it's been like such a long time. I think on any any given day, I say this a lot that I think that they could have finished in different orders, but that was pretty tasty. Um, to me, and uh, I, I I enjoyed it very much, and I do think that the single barrels generally are probably a little better. And I would encourage you if yeah. you do see single barrels of Elijah Craig or any other single barrel at a liquor store, always ask if you can try a sample. The answer is almost always yes, at least in our experience. Yeah. And, and most, I think it's getting, most of the time I think it's getting a little better. I know for the last year it's been a little it's trickier. Oh, hold on, the cat really wants to wants to be a part of this. A couple this. more gas tips for good luck. Thank you so much, Rags. Hey, Rags. We do appreciate that. And we will do our best to get on the road and do live streams and uh, 
and also just videos in general. There's um, we have a ton of whiskey packed up samples. We brought everything because we don't know what we're going to be filming when we're on about. It's hard no. to know. Um, so we're going to do but the best that we can. I was I was going to say we're also very excited because we're going. I mean, the whole point of the trip is obviously, well, we're going to visit family, but then the yeah. marathon in Chicago is our end goal, basically, or our mid goal yeah. before we turn around and come back. And there's just a lot of great places yeah, to, we're moving all over the place. What, to see stuff. When's the last time you saw your, your family? Well, I saw my parents in June. Was it that recent? June or July. Yeah, we went to Vegas, remember? Oh, right, you did. But I haven't seen, so really exciting. My sister, she lives in the UK, so she hasn't been able to to visit um, at all. And so it'll be the first time I see her in two and a half years, which That's wild. doesn't seem like two and a half years. But like when you think about it, you're like, oh my gosh, it was, I think, August of 20, 2019. Maybe August or July, no, July of 2019. So almost like. Was I with you when you saw her? No, it was. Wow. We went to Colorado. Do you think she'll recognize me? <laughs> Yes. I'm getting a haircut tomorrow. I don't know. It uh, is unfortunate because my brother in law is not coming and he is just a, a treat with his British accent I that I can't him. understand. After after 15 years, I'm still like, I don't know what to talk about. Yeah, I had a great time with him. <laughs> um, thank you so much, Ethan. Are you sure? Are you sure? Wait, we'll are we sure in. about what? He says no entry necessary, but we want to put you in, Ethan. We want to make sure that you get. Uh, oh, I mean, you can pass it if you, you want. You can pass but... on it if you want, yeah. Um, Jim says, pick something I got so I can join you. Oh, what do you think, Jim? Yeah, because you're... Jim, you got access to the spreadsheet. You let us know. You got the Patreon spreadsheet that has all our whiskeys on it. This is a lot more difficult when you have a cat in your lap. There's cat hair everywhere here. No. That's, let me give you tasting notes on that. Uh, Clint Ash says, Cooper's Craft Barrel Reserve. Ooh. Do we have some of that left? We do. We do. Yeah, and we're trying... We're not trying to get rid of it, but it's in the decanter. There's not a ton left, yeah. Do you want to pass me that decanter? I'll have some of that. Yeah, does uh, does Jim have Coopers? Because I know he wants to drink with you. Mm -hmm. Oh, perfect. Jim, let, let us know if you have that. Ooh. Yeah. It's heavy. That precariously placed Russell's 13 makes me a bit nervous. Yeah, it's in a pretty good place. It won't be there for long. That one is, uh, we, we there's have. A, there's uh, a good, like, three quarters of an inch before storage, the edge of the show. We do have a storage solution for our road trip. That is, uh, that and all of the, uh, the uh, valuable bottles and the ones that we're really fond of will be hidden away and stored um, in a temperature controlled situation yeah. while we're gone. Thank goodness. Um, and of course the house will be minded. Uh, we've rented that out to one of, uh, to a coworker. And uh, so we're looking forward to that as well. I know you gotta love, I mean, you gotta love that. Works out perfectly. All right, little Coopers. That's Guys, nice. I decided last, to just- Last minute entries. Look at, look at all these last minute entries coming in. I'm keeping Julie busy on the typing front. Um, I know. I, I'm telling you, like uh, it's way difficult with the with the cat in my in, the cat in my lap. Thank you so much, Rad Dad. Seriously, hey, Rad, Rad Dad, appreciate that. Very nice of you. Love the videos. Looking forward to building my first collection, newbie. Hey, we have gotta. We've got to follow uh, our newbie videos because we got a lot of. We, we've been training uh, ourselves for a long time. So I will say we did at the very beginning of our channel did the bourbons for beginners, mm -hmm. which I think is still really relevant. It's interesting because I will up. say at the beginning of this, I would say that I was basically a beginners for bourbon, right? I mean, we were drinking it, but I wasn't really experimenting. So I think it's a really great list. And then our new 40, uh, 40, 40 under 40. That'd be the, a little crazy. Yeah, the best bourbons under 40 best list. Bourbons, yeah, under 40. Our yeah. patrons helped us with that one. I think there's some really great stuff. On yeah, there. and thanks to everybody that's watched that. And if you haven't watched it, check it out. Um, that video, over 4,000 views in less than a week so far. Um, that's a fantastic number for us. That's a that's a very big oh. video for us, actually. Top oh. top 10 of our videos that we've ever released. So uh, we're really happy with how that one's done. And thanks to everybody for watching that and helping us out. Uh, Whiskey Mad. Uh, I want to say that I just had my first Cheers. sip of this Will It Rye, which it's been a while since I had it. It is like black licorice. Like, is it right? Just, and I'm a black licorice girl. Crazy. You are. I know. You and like people, black jelly beans, too. Yes, I don't actually like jelly beans, except for the black ones. <laughs> I mean, the red ones. I like cherry. Whereas I'm obsessed with yeah. all the jelly beans, except for the black ones. Man, this is, this is, interesting. This is like spicy and... It is such a such it's a, a departure. Yeah, such a change from what we were just drinking. Uh, thank you very much, Whiskey Mad. Uh, cheers. 
You need a wrench. Yeah, probably. One of these days, honestly, we don't know when we're going to do another live stream, so we I haven't know. been, uh, we haven't, we haven't assigned one because we don't want to waste somebody's time. I know this was brought up our last live stream. <laughs> we keep saying like we don't know when we're going to do uh, um, a live stream, and then Ruby actually reached out to us yesterday because we had talked on our Patreon. We're like, oh, we're going to do a live stream on um, Monday the thirteenth, and then we never said anything. And so Ruby, thank you for keeping us honest because <laughs> we were like, we should do it. Yeah. Yeah. And look at how much fun we're having. Brad Dad loved the video. Question as a newbie, what's the first bottle I should buy? So great question. Uh, and, yeah. and no matter what we say or what, no matter what anybody else says, there's going to be somebody that says that's a terrible choice. Um, but I will tell you, <laughs> totally. um, the first whiskey that I tried that was that I found to be really interesting and uh, was just readily available at the time, it was everywhere at the time, was Buffalo Trace. It was affordable. It was tasty. 20 but Six, four, six bucks. Twenty. Like yeah, it's a twenty-five-ish box. So it. it can be a little harder to find today. It gets a bad rap from people that that can't find it. Quite honestly, because most people that have had it say, "Yeah, it's a pretty good place to start." Ninety proof, I believe. Ninety. Um, it's a solid whiskey. I would say outside of that, though, something like um, Maker's Forty Six. I just think it's so delicious. Yeah. I every time I try to go, yeah, it's still it's still amazing. There, it's tons of flavor. It's a weeded bourbon. It's sweet, lovely. I know when I started this channel, I would have said, oh, go the Four Roses Yellow Label or something like that. And now after like growing in bourbons over the last year, I mean, just trying all all the things mm -hmm. over the last year and a half, really. It's like, that's still delicious, but it's just, you know, you kind of, if you're going to go for it, it's going to like a little bit more flavors. Go for it. Yeah. Know? Yeah. I know I was talking about that Russell's 10 too. I oh, mean, that's yeah. a, that's kind of a ramp up. Russell's 10, you might not um, appreciate think, until you've had something else. Exactly. That's yes. what I was just thinking. You, yeah. you kind of want just to start with something and then flow into it. Yeah. yeah. Cheers, Ivan. Thank you very much. We Thanks, love those Ivan. Five Sip Fridays, too. This is one that we released this past week. Just happened to work out like a Five Sip Friday because the smoke was so bad here from wildfires. We didn't get outside to get one done. We yeah. like to do those outside specifically. So we got a lot of them packed up in the van coming along with us. We were excited to get those uh those videos recorded and all the beautiful places that we're going to be in the next couple of months. We can't wait. So we will be very busy with those. Those are our favorites. I know I was, I'm a little bummed because we did kind of have kind of shoddy weather over the last yeah. two weeks or something. Cause we had a couple really, I wanted to, I love showing off just the beauty of Oregon just in general. It's just, it, it's just really, someone comes it's from fantastic. the mid, someone comes from the Midwest, like Oregon wasn't even like a, you know, I didn't even think about it like as a place that you could ever go. And so it's been really eye opening to me. And so I just love sharing like all the beauty yeah. and the and stuff. And so we had a couple of great places and now we're running out of time to show them. So hopefully next Yeah, we're we'll gonna keep that on we're gonna keep because the snow will come sooner than we want. <laughs> Let me catch up real quick because I want to make sure we do this drawing. We promised to do it at six. We're in overtime now. I know. Um, we're I'm gonna sorry. keep we're gonna stick out stick around and we're gonna have a few more sips here. Jake Miller, I love this. The company I work for actually lets us bring pets in on Fridays. I learned pets hurt productivity. Never brought my cats for obvious reasons. That makes sense. Yeah. Peach Coke is here. Welcome, Peach Coke. Hey. Uh, we can tell you that uh, number one for me, number two for Julie was the Trailhead pick. These are all from the past year. They're not the ones that are currently being sold at the local stores. So uh, number one for me, number two for Julie was Trailhead. Number one for Julie, number two for me was the one from Ben South. Um, both of us had the original Elijah Craig shelf stock uh in third and we had the Giorgio's West Side in fourth. Yeah. Christopher DeVries enjoying Russell's 10. It's always a good time to enjoy Russell's 10. Uh, I think that's like Buffalo Ruby says Buffalo Trace is great if you're starting out or if you're me. Honestly, every time we sip it, we go, oh this stuff's so good. Yeah. It's always it, we're always surprised by it and I don't know why. It's very good. Yeah. I can't uh, beat the price either. Aubrey's here. Welcome, Aubrey. Hey, Aubrey. All right. Thanks for joining. Aubrey's sneaking in just under the wire because yeah. it is time to, you got him on there. It is time to go ahead and do this drawing, I think. What do you think? I know. And then we can just uh, chill out if you guys want to hang out a little little longer. I mean, I've got this delicious Willet. Yeah. Yeah. Well, let's what let's pick price? a winner. All right. I got to do uh, my, my randomize. Oh, look. We got Patrick Q in the house. Aubrey, hey. Well, it's great to see you, Aubrey. Um, uh, okay, so I'm going to tell Siri, I'm going to turn up her volume first so that you can 
hear it. And are you randomized already? I'm randomized All and right. ready. Everybody is in. R&R, &R, randomized and ready. Here we go. <laughs> Orlando <laughs> Valentin, hello from Alaska. That's two Alaskans. We've got two Alaskans in the chat right now. I'm That's gonna, a big deal, right? That means we've made it. I'm not going to lie. We follow a, a, a travel channel. I mean, it's not travel channel, but it's a travel channel. Traveling guy. YouTube channel? Yeah, on YouTube. And he spent like two weeks in Alaska or something. Mm -hmm. So we're like obsessed right now. Yeah. <laughs> like, I was like, oh my gosh, we have to get there immediately. Yeah, we can call him out. We love his channel through yeah. my lens. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. He's fantastic. Yeah, he's just, it's fun. And he does it with his, like, right now he's doing it with his dad. So, which I always think is really cute. All right. Oh, Give me a shoot. number. I need to know how many numbers we've got. Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My bad. Oh, boy. Ooh, 125. Holy cow, 125. Thanks to everyone for your super chats and everything you've done for us. Um, here we go. Pick a number between 1 and 125. It's 57. Ooh. Wow. That's like dead center. How about that? <laughs> Random 1, 125. 57, 57 is Wendell Wilson. Wendell. Congratulations, Wendell. Look at you. The hits keep coming. First he goes to uh, he goes on his trip down south, picks up a bunch of great bottles this weekend, and yeah. now this. What what more could you what more could you ask for, Wendell? Honestly, fantastic. Love it. That's, I love that randomize. Randomize is easy. Nice. Yeah, and asking Siri rather than doing anything myself is always better. <laughs> totally. Uh, make sure I've got that off. Okay, there we go. Yeah. Um, all right. Well, there hey, you Wendell. Go. Wendell. I mean, we have your info. So. We've got your info. That's a Patreon I'll supporter. Thank you nice so easy. much. And, um, well, that's great. Well, we're going to stick around and have a drink. So if you need to go to your other streams and things, by all means. But if you want to hang out with us. We'd love it. Well, yeah. We've got, you know, fanciness kicking around here in, a, in, yeah. in the glass. And, uh, yeah, by the way, this was a $21 uh, pickup on Amazon, by the way. I don't remember what exactly it is. But if anybody's interested, let me know. Uh, yeah. we'll, we'll send you that. Yeah. Homebrew for Life is in the house. Welcome. That's a, that's a newer subscriber recently. Uh, welcome. And uh, we're homebrewers ourselves, so it's always great say, to connect. Um, what software do you use for streaming? We use um, – here, I'll, do, I'll put their branding up here for a second. Is it because it's not very clear? Is that why you're asking? <laughs> <laughs> We've had ups and downs, but honestly, we're starting to dial it in a little bit. We've got our microphone situation finally worked out. Uh, but it's StreamYard, um, and they, they, the nice thing about it is you can bring in people's chats uh, directly into it and sort of tie everything together. So kind of a nice uh, situation there. I also, I also want to know what is your favorite homebrew that you make? Yeah, what, what do you? Because we've we've dabbled over the last 10 years, and we've yeah. done everything from uh, vanilla bourbon oak ale to Very a tasty. lager to I convinced Phil to do a cream. I didn't want to do a cream ale. Yeah, the cream ale was really good. Yeah, that was really yeah. good. So, I mean, they're all, you know, so, some are hitters and some are not hitters. Right, right, right. Um, let me kill this banner here because we don't need that anymore. Um, well, we've uh, – well, later, Keith. Thank you for joining us. Um, and that's, of course, congratulations to Wendell, everybody. Uh it's just saying, we love this community. It's just so nice. I'm having a great um, time. And thanks for everybody for joining us. And we're not going anywhere. We're hanging out. Yeah. Uh, because Julie has been working overtime to get the van packed up. I've been over working overtime just on work to try get not to up. have a heart attack while I'm on the road. And uh, so that's that's coming along. Uh, so we're we're Excited. we could use the break. This is this is great for us. Yeah. We needed this. Um, Hal says your best bourbon's under forty was spot on. I concur 100 percent on that. Every choice and honorable mention. You should sticky that video. Thank you, Hal. That's very nice. You Thank know, you. We, that video actually, um, we've got a new playlist that we're going to put together because honestly, some of our early videos that have the most views were before we were getting, we still we have the best it. production and the editing is still choppy and all that. I we're working that, on it, but I think that I want to do one that's like, here's the videos that are our favorites. Yeah. Uh, because there are some that we think are hilarious that didn't really get a lot of views. It's probably because we were just like Ridiculous. goofy and we're like not good at this. Yeah. <laughs> so that's a that's a uh, that's a playlist that we're going to start soon. Yeah. And uh, that's going to be one of those videos that'll be on there because uh, we're really happy with it too. We think, and it's one of those that. It's right there with the best bourbons for beginners. We think it's really yeah. helpful. And actually, um, not so old granddad suggested a under thirty video. At some point, we will do that. Somebody else suggested a forty dollar to eighty dollar video. Mm, that's gonna be tough. 
gonna be tough, a but tough I, range. I already put together a spreadsheet. I well, you spreadsheet guy. <laughs> <laughs> and the, the tricky thing about it is there's so many things between 40 and 80, depending on where you get them. You can get a lot of things that are over 80 for under yeah. 80. Like I know Booker's sells in some parts of this country for like at least it was sixty-five, seventy-five dollars. Yeah, it's ninety here, so that's not going to be on our list. So we're going to catch flag I, for it. And, and I do think thing. that we need to stick with just our area. I mean, I know we kind yeah. of we kind of went off with the forty because some of them were great picks, and then we were so jealous that people were getting yeah. under forty. So we'll have to see. Yeah, and again, I mean, like there's bottles like seventeen ninety-two full proof that some of you are getting that under forty dollars. Um, so. That's no. that, but for us, it's a fifty dollars bottle. Spoiler alert: it's going to be on that list. Yeah. Um, Ivan wants to know: Have you guys ever shown your van in a video? Not yet. We have a van tour video coming because we finally got the cabinet in that we were waiting on. I know, and the new countertop, which I'm very excited about. And I yeah. like poor Phil. Yeah. I was like, I don't know why we're doing all this work on it, and then it came back, and it looks really nice. Yeah, van tour. We're not coming. quite hundred percent on it because yeah. with everything in the world like over the last two years um parts are hard to come by but parts, we yeah. are like we're yeah. ready to go we've got some i'm feeling pumped we've got a storage solution above the bed that we don't have yet we've got a new window coming that's yeah. been totally delayed um but those are the last couple of things that we're waiting on but and the, like everything the else it's station, a scrappy van the power station thing we were supposed <laughs> to have a backup battery that fell apart but we're going to do a van tour soon and uh, for our patreons we've been working on a vlog of this process of updating the van over the past week, getting ready to go on this trip. And uh, so that's gonna be releasing very soon. And for this trip, we'll be doing plenty of videos as well yeah. while we're on the road. So um, we're working on a lot more outdoor content. I don't know how much of it is gonna make it to the channel because we're a whiskey channel uh, first, obviously. Um, but we we would love to do more travel-based stuff, you know, tours at distilleries, um, mm -hmm. you know, best, bourbon bars to go to from city to city, that sort of thing. Um, that's really more of a passion that we're working on. Mm -hmm. We don't know how people are going to go for that, but um, you know, we're, that's, that's where we're going because there's, there's enough, there's a ton of whiskey tubers out there. Uh, we'd like to be able to set ourselves apart somehow. I know. And I mean, our personality <laughs> alone just is just thing. not going to cut it. Yeah. <laughs> we were, well, I don't know. Patrick says that we're goofy and that's fine with me. Um, yeah. The, um, uh, the bourbon junkies like we were going to do a 1920 versus 1920 video we even had it lined oh, up to I do know. two of one and one of another totally blind to see if we could figure out which one was which and then they released a video like the and next they day, and the next like, day and like, so that keeps happening to us we don't want to be copycats we're trying to do something a little bit different um so we're working on it right because we're just i mean we're just going with the flow right of course cheers dennis glad you got the challenge coin we love these challenge coins we really they turned out so nice i i do think so I mean, I don't know what everybody else's look like because, you know, that's new to me, but I thought ours were really cute. We've seen it, some of them out there. It has Norman on it. I mean, you can't. Ethan says, that. the community is the best. It needs all the unique viewpoints that it can get. You do a great job, makes it up. Thank you, Ethan. We're working, we're, we're, we're continuing to find our voice. So, yes. Yeah. Eric, see contribution for Norman Eric. treats and towards bourbon finds out there in the wild. We actually left, we left a couple slots in like, our bourbon boxes of, uh, you know, we've got things that we're going to be bringing to friends who we're staying with and family and that sort of thing. We've kept a couple slots open. We're going to be buying some stuff. I know. Phil just told me today, he's like, okay, this is all packed up. We're all ready to go. Um, we have room for like one more thing if you want to take something from the shelf. And I was like, who are we kidding? We'll just like <laughs> pick up like 12 boxes. Yeah, I mean, we're going to stop and hopefully... Yeah. Weather permitting, we're going to stop uh, in Kentucky. So, I mean, just right there, the whole box will be filled with 1910. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Kentucky and further south. And we might finally get our first uh, real venture into Texas whiskey. That's what we're hoping for. Mm. Uh, so we'll see how that works out. Ruby says, I'm excited to follow your shenanigans. He's traveled across the country. It's going to be fun. Totally agree, Ruby. And I'm, I'm hoping to do like maybe even like a – daily video update on patreon yeah. every couple of days something like that because that's the easiest thing to just jump in and tell you what we're up to and yeah. i love sharing that stuff i will say that we've been doing a lot i mean because norman is for basically 14 years an indoor cat but he's always wanted to go outdoors he's not one of those cats that are like i'm afraid of it i'm just gonna stay in here no he i feel like if we took him off the leash he'd just like run away well he, he goes out the door and immediately disappears under the deck disappears right yeah and so we've been practicing with him on the leash tethered to the van whatever so i think he's going to be like 
hilarious. <laughs> or he's going to be a nightmare. Yeah, <laughs> like one or possible. the other. <laughs> it's possible. Aubrey says my first Burma band video was You Only Need Five Rides with the Drummer references, and I was sold. Cheers to that. And that was the most fun. That was totally impromptu off the cuff. I know. We just just started saying them, and then it just stuck. Um, we had some we had some funny ideas about doing maybe a um, which Marvel character is your uh, which MCU character is is your mm -hmm. bourbon. Mm -hmm. um, I just started playing. Well, I haven't even started yet. I got invited to a Dungeons and Dragons game. Thought about doing which <laughs> which character type. I don't even know. I don't know. Anything I don't about know if that'd be fun or not because I don't know anything about it yet. Who knows? Um, whiskey and do it anyway. Yeah. Um, somebody asked about uh, Old Bardstown. Um, might have been Clint a few minutes ago, and I, I missed it. Um, we haven't had that yet. I've never seen that bottle. Uh, but I, somebody just did a tasting of it and said it was quite good. So um, I'm interested in it. I did not say you were goofy. Jude, I just agreed. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. <laughs> no, you can say we are goofy, or at least I am. I, mean, I feel like you. Well, no, never mind. If you know Bill, he's, <laughs> he he presents a serious demeanor. Not um, just a well balanced human, <laughs> much like this Cooper's craft. Very well balanced. Mm. Uh, Ed, thank you, you very much. You should try my Willet, by the way. It's you're gonna like get thrown for a loop because it's a rye, and it's like not just a rye; it's like a Willet rye. It's so bizarre. Oh man! But it's so this is different. just grassy fell on that Cooper's. Lemony. Mmm. Tobacco, like actual like cigar tobacco, mm -hmm. like processed. Ooh, man, this was so different. Oh, that's those wow. couldn't be more different. <laughs> wow. Anyway, I like to share. <laughs> Alice says, don't want to be copycats. That's why I want to start up my whiskey review channel. There's so darn few of them. Yeah, them True. man. It just it's it's so hard not to copy people all the time. And I sometimes know. you just do it because you've already got it recorded and you just go, well. I know that's happened to us a couple of times. ADHD where... Whiskey did Eagle Rare versus Russell's 10 and we we're like, well, we we're doing it anyway. We literally just recorded it, we released it pretty sure the same day. Yeah, it feels pretty organized and he has like ideas written down and then by the time we <laughs> Imagine get. Imagine that. And, like, and, and by the time I like agree, to, not agree, but I'm like, oh yeah, cool. Yeah, let's do that one. And then it's too late, like somebody's already done it. <laughs> I was like, sorry. Oh, well. Yeah, probably one less person here to buy them up. <laughs> Wendell's the winner. Congratulations, Wendell. We'll definitely be in touch. Uh, we'll get you. Um, it's already ready. Yeah, it's ready. It'll ship out first I'll thing ship out tomorrow. tomorrow. Um, and we got your information already, so no worries. I love this. Oh, good. I, can I say I love it? You can say that. It is so good. I'm definitely a rye girl. Recent 1,000 subscriber and hey, birthday hey, boy Chris is here. Bourbon of the week. Sorry, I'm late. Baby classes. It happens. Oh, because you're having a baby. At first, I was like, "What are you?" No, he's having a baby. Yeah, I thought it's a big deal. Be one. Um, Congratulations on your uh, 1,000 subscribers. Happy yeah. birth, happy belated birthday. Sorry that we could only pop in for just like yeah. a few minutes last week. But. I rewatched it while I was on the treadmill. I enjoyed it. Oh, good. Made yeah. me real thirsty. I also was really happy that you liked the old bits. I mm -hmm. have to say because you, you could feel the t like the tension. Like you didn't. You were like, I don't think I want to drink this. I don't like weeders. And then I liked that it won you over. So that made me <laughs> happy because it is a good drink. Um, Richard, the raffle, the number of bottles you buy on the road may be fun. So that's oh. interesting. The bottles just for us, or the bottles we're also bringing back for for some other folks. I oh guess just for us, right? Thirty-seven new bottles by the time we get home. The, the, the van will be a sound, heck of a Christmas. We'll be just driving. Yeah, <laughs> shoot. We'll just be driving down the road, and every time we hit a bump, it'll be click, 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 click. yeah, yeah. Actually, because we're because we're doing this uh, tasting in Bozeman, which is our first step or whatever. We have so many boxes just for that because yeah. there's like glassware and other stuff that we're bringing. So we might have room for 37 bottles. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and one and of those. And then someone's going to find us and we'll have zero bottles left. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> totally possible. Um, but yeah, well, by the time we get to Kentucky, we're going to definitely need some room for things. But yeah, lots of samples yeah. coming along and um, lots of ideas. For things on the road too. Maybe we will do a, a raffle. We might just do that for Patreons. I think that might be fun. Oh, I kind of like the idea of like how many bottles. Well, I mean, but we shouldn't look at it because we don't want to. Yeah. 
Yeah. Well, I'll buy them by the case, and that way we won't have to worry about it. It'll be like being them. here, where all of a sudden Phil's like, hey, I got to go do that one thing real quick, and then seven bottles show up at the house. Sometimes that happens. In the next hour. Butte, Montana. Take Butte. the Montana Street exit and stop at the freeway bar. Ooh. Get a wok chop pork chop sandwich for the road. Well, I like it. My uh, one of my really good friends there. here. Um, she's from Butte, Montana. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I know. I just realized how ridiculous my hair looks because <laughs> I stuck it in the shadow there. Uh, I'm getting a haircut tomorrow. I was a little concerned I wouldn't fit on camera tonight. Yeah. Um, pork chop sandwich. Not because I'm worried about what it looks like. I don't honestly care. It's just too much. Yeah. Um, man, yeah. Montana's all, gonna be great. All I keep thinking is like pork chop sandwiches from that uh, animated GI Joe thing. GI Joe thing. <laughs> if Levi ridiculous. Morales watches this later, he'll. No, oh yeah, about. he's the person I always think of. When I'm thinking about those. <laughs> I finished my whiskey. What time is it? Six twenty-six. All right, four minutes, and then we'll sign off. Maybe that's it. Shut it down. Oh no! Do you want to keep going? I'll keep going. I still have. Yeah. Ruby's having a will it with Julie. Oh. <gasps> Ed says it's where I grew up. Levi says. <laughs> <laughs> He's on it. Yes. Thanks for sticking with us. You've been here since the beginning. Yeah. <laughs> Pork chop sandwiches. Cheers, Regs. Bye. Thank you again. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for it. Cheers. Um, well, what are you going to do now? So last live stream, which was last Monday, yeah. we always talk about dinner because most people are about two to three hours ahead of us. That's true. Have already eaten. We yeah. have not eaten yet, which is probably why we get a little loopy with it all does the seem, It does seem the like, vermin. like we've got a ton of people like centralized on the Mississippi River. Yeah. In okay. that vicinity. Yeah. Yeah. So a couple, couple hours. Anyway, we talked at length about uh, tacos and quesadillas. Quesadillas, <laughs> last week. Sorry, quesadillas last week. You got to peek into exactly how we talk. When yeah, we're and I just want to let everyone know that we're having tacos once again after this live stream. I can't wait. <laughs> I love them. Yeah, I don't know. I may need some inspiration. All right, inspiration from you guys. What uh, should I'm gonna Phil have one have more? Next? I'm gonna have one more. Yeah. Oh my gosh, this Willet is so good. I don't know if it's just so different. Like, I don't know if that's why I like it, but there's just, there's like that tobacco -y note, that licorice note, those darker flavors. It's just, just like spinning. It's you are spinning. It's very bizarre. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm excited. Oh, Ed says to pour some McKenna, and you like McKenna. So, what if you, uh, we never drink McKenna. Well, was here. it Jim? Jim suggested that earlier, too. I know. All right. All right. All right. I'll do it for you. I will say that McKenna is the one Can thing. Yes, absolutely. McKenna is that one thing that this bottle's we've got been recommended like a thousand times, right? And we've had multiple bottles. We can actually get it here in Oregon, which is pretty nice because I know you can't get it everywhere. Yeah. I've given it four to five tries. I bring it home every time I'm out of Phil one. Phil likes I go get it. Another one. I just am not, I'm not, I'm not a big. Yeah. It's a bottle I keep one on the I shelf. I feel bad about it because I know that people love it. So. Kind of hurts my heart a bit. There's a suggestion from Dennis there. What is that? Also stop at the distillery in Butte and buy a bottle of Never Sweat Bourbon. Ooh. Amazing with ginger beer and a Montana mule. Mm, that's I know. We're um getting ready for our this year we've done like I always call them our quarters because I always do like in my job we always do like quarterly recaps for all of our clients. Um and so we're doing a quarterly bourbon roundup. And I was like, for this, for Q2, I was like, was it Q2? Yeah, for Q2, I was like, oh, I love, I've been drinking lots of, you know, whiskey gingers because it's summer. And I was like, well, I can't do that two in a row, but maybe I can. I feel like you can. Yeah. Um, Richard says, Jack Daniel's single bar barrel proof. Yes. You know, we actually, Fred, uh, Fred uh, one of our patrons, sent us. Uh, samples. One of them was a five sip Friday a couple weeks ago, and he actually sent a second bottle that I that we enjoyed uh, the last time we had a live stream. That bottle that he sent us was probably the best Jack Daniel single barrel barrel. It's better I've than the one had. we have. The one that we currently have, not that good. It's the first one we've had that wasn't that good. Yeah. Um, 
I mean, so I think ours is as, really good, but it is, it is, the, but the it, one that we tried was better, unfortunately. It, it was such a vanilla <laughs> bomb. It was so yeah. butterscotchy that it actually, it tricked me into thinking that it was 1792. Right. Very, very good whiskey. So yeah. um, absolutely. Jack Daniels, single barrel, barrel proof, one of our favorites, but that um, that one that he sent us was lights out. Probably the best one we've ever had. It was so yeah. good. I can't believe how good the barrel, the Jack Daniels barrel proofs are. Yeah. Completely. Really good. Maybe some OGD after all you're down with OGD. Yeah, I haven't poured the McKenna yet. And I gotta be honest, oh. I haven't had OGD 114 in a long time. I'm kind of feeling it tonight. What if I pour 114 in my glass, you do the McKenna in yours, uh -huh. and then you can just kind of sample over. I don't hate that idea. Oh, see? Let's do that. I'm an this, idea. Uh, this McKenna 10, by the way, is, um, this one has a pine wood note to it. That's the this particular single barrel, very, very piney. Uh, Peach Coke says that this one was great at 36, hard to justify 50. Yeah, we this one we I might have think got I this got one this on one sale. For $31, for, actually. No, was, the, the the one, not this particular bottle, the one before this, I got for 31 bucks. I thought we got this one for it was on sale. I thought this it was ten dollars off. Maybe, maybe. Maybe. I mean sometimes you just buy them just because they're there. Drinking Pikesville straight right for the first time. We love that whiskey. That's oh good. All of a sudden, I saw that you said so far I am, uh, and I was like, oh no, I said not a big fan. But you said big fan. Yeah, big fan. I'm a big fan. Yeah, that's good whiskey. I, I don't I don't know that there's a if you're talking strictly bargain like value bottles. I need you to direct me. What do you want? OG one one four. Yeah, down here oh. with the with the pack of little guys. I got short bottles all in one place so that nothing's blocking anything else. Thank you. <laughs> it's like when you. Got together for a class picture when you were a kid. Look at the cork on this. I can't get over it. It's like a... Oh, oh wow. <laughs> do you think it's a... What a great cork. Do you think it's the size great of the pop. cork that makes the... the pop so much more? It's not the size of the cork. It's how you work it. <laughs> Taco salsa for peach coke. I should really dig their nachos. That's good stuff. Oh, good. Man, the cork is ridiculous. I will say, it is a ridiculous cork. I do like that this is 104. This is not what I thought 114 bottle looked like. I don't know what I was thinking about. Dang it, here in Oregon, I was just checking how many states were in PSD after the 626 comment. I would have guessed Oregon based on accents, attitudes, and the van things. Oh, the bung fell out of our barrel here. <laughs> so um, we, we made our own table. Yeah. Our friend works at Deschutes, and we got to buy a barrel, and it was cool. The bum just flew out. That's yeah. kind of random. Actually. Hell, we're actually fairly new to Oregon. We've only been here for seven years, originally from the Midwest. This is new. Chicago. 2013. That's like... Yeah, but you don't build an four, accent in seven 14 years. Almost years. Why? We don't sound like it, right? We can't possibly sound like we're No. Four. So it was so funny. We, when, don't, we don't ever leave the house. <laughs> <laughs> when we moved here, because we've been... We lived in Portland originally, um, and then when we moved here, um, I literally got a job at the place that I work now, mm. and the guy was like, I think I was like a day in, a couple hours, and I basically was like, you're not from Oregon, where, where are you from? And yeah. I was like, oh, Chicago, I, that's where I grew up. And he goes, oh yeah, you can tell. Like, yeah. there was something about my nasally twang, yeah. well, not a twang, but just my nasally voice delivery delivery yeah and he was just like oh yeah you can tell that you're from here ruby says do you ever try a new bourbon and then love it based on what you were doing or where you were when you drank it like it reminds oh. you of a good time this one right here one of my favorites because um my oldest brother was his favorite for ever may still be his favorite i don't know um but it reminds me of him that's one of the reasons it's always on the shelf wow that's so nice i didn't know that yep and also it's delicious at least I think of it. Yeah. We have not had the Tennessee Taster. Haven't had the opportunity yet. We're hoping uh, that this year. I like this one one four. Woo wee! That's vanilla coated payday. Yeah. Um, we have not had it. Uh, if we, it depends on the route that we take when we head south. But being in that area of the world here in a couple of months, I'd be surprised if we didn't wind up over there. <laughs> Eddie with the uh, ADHD call on that cork pop. Um, can I just say that I think I've gone full, I mean, I haven't gone full circle, 
But like we had the Elijah Craig's. Yes. And then I did a ride. Uh-huh. Which actually maybe it's over here. That's different enough. And this is just all peanuts. Yeah. It's like I think almost exaggerated right now because of the two well I would the agree. two different ones that I've had before. I would it's crazy that. peanutty. Yeah. Okay. Here it is. Ed always with that Booker's tip, mm. man. He's on it. Yeah. This is delicious. I I don't drink this enough. You so switch? let me let me stop show? because maybe I need to drink McKenna after I've drinking something else. <laughs> Especially OGD one one four. Oh, gosh, that is like so nutty. Mm, yeah. Mm. What's the proof on this? One hundred. It's bottom bone. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Got my eyes watering. <laughs> Which one do you, do you like? That one or the one one four? I feel I feel conflicted right now because I think that my palate has been burned up a bit. You've been shattered by that will <laughs> from the willet, so everything tastes a little off right now. Mm. There's a raspberry tinge on top of this vanilla caramel coated payday bar. Love it. Honey roasted peanuts. Ooh, that's nice. Yeah, super nice. That is nice right there. Mm. Patrick says, I never knew there was an Oregon accent. Yeah, me neither. Laid back, I guess. Are we not laid <laughs> back? I, thought, I didn't. <laughs> yeah, I wonder, actually. Which one do you have there? Oh, you've no, got this the, is the McKenna here. Yeah, trade you back? Yep. All right. <laughs> um, yeah, I wonder if there is a. Yeah, it's not a California accent. Maybe it's just like a. Maybe, maybe it's just the, the baseline. Yeah, I don't know. I'd have to look that up. There's Rich. Thank you, Richard. Old people bedtime here on the East Coast. Cheers. Safe travels. Behave. Norman. Hear that? Norman. Oh, he, he he's uninspired. He's giving us the eyes. Yeah. Yeah. I'm happy. <laughs> anyway. Well, what are we at? 637? Yeah. What do you think? I think it's dinner time. We're going to take our drinking offline and we're going to go get some tacos, I think. I'm going to make the tacos. We're not going to get them. Oh, right. Yeah. How about that? Making some guacamole. I got all the goods. I got guacamole ready to go. We got some tomatoes, black olives. Oh, a little bit of everything. A little, little everything. I'm ready to go. Delicious. Well, a couple last minute things here. Ethan says, if you find yourselves near here, you're welcome to stop in. 15 amp power water, even sewer dump. Oh, dang. Man. Nice. All right, Ethan. Keep us in mind, man. <laughs> Reach out to us on Gmail, uh, the bourbon van at gmail.com, because you might wind up with a van in your lot. <laughs> uh, Hal says, I go through OGD Knob Creek 9, early times bib faster than anything else here. Yeah, I would agree with that. We we ripped through those as well. Drinking the Dickel Bib 2021. We actually have an unopened bottle of it. We talk about Dickel a lot, maybe too much. So we haven't <laughs> we it's haven't done that true. three way tasting just yet. But we'll see if that I know happens. we do want to do I think we said this last time, but we our very first video that we ever recorded was going to be the Dickel. I don't know why we chose Dickel as our very first video, but the 2019 2020. And we didn't know what we were doing. And no. it was just like, I was wearing this coat and no sound, and we just scrapped it. So, yeah. lucky we even started the channel after that. Oh, it was right. like a disaster. Yeah, that one. <laughs> and then there was a 1792 single barrel that one. Yeah. Did a review and went, what are we even doing here? I don't remember what I picked, actually. So it'll be interesting. We want to do the 2021, 20, too. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you so much, everybody, for coming out. Ruby, that sounds <gasps> so like a lovely rock. trick. Love that. That is never too far. Yeah. Aubrey, cheers. Clint, uh, Ivan, making me hunger. Great stream, guys. Thank you so much. Dennis Rogers loves the tacos, of course. Look at this. we got that Montana connection. we got that Alaska connection. We're making connections left and right here. Cheers, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. Wendell, we'll get those bottles out to you right away. Yep. And uh, hope you guys safe travels. Thank you so much, Levi. Cheers. And uh, we hope you guys all have a uh, lovely night. And what else? From wherever we are. <laughs> to wherever you are. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks, guys. We really appreciate you.